you to know, and I know it will come as no surprise, that that group of fellows you just heard did a fantastic job last Saturday in the District 4, or in the Division 4 uh, uh, qualifications, and they will be uh, competing in the Division uh, in October, and you can expect great things from them. Uh, they're marvelous representatives of this community. You should be very, very proud of them. Although our barbershop society is well past its golden anniversary and has grown and progressed in many ways, one problem remains, attracting an ample supply of tenors and leads. Most of the time, we can convert basses to tenor and occasionally will allow a baritone with delusions of grandeur to sing lead. But we know of at least one baritone who has a unique solution to the problem. Raise your own. As you're about to hear, it works extremely well. Please give a big welcome to Regeneration. Back at night, off to bed and then get up and start it all over again. Let's take a trip to Bermuda. Let's take a plane to St. Paul. Let's take a kayak to Quincy or Nyack. Let's get away from it all. Let's take a trip to Niagara. No need to come back at all. Let's leave right here, get out of the rut here. Let's get away from it all. We'll wander around from down to town. We'll visit every state and we'll have fun while we're on the run. We'll really celebrate great. Let's go again to Niagara. This time we'll look at the fall. Let's take a flipper up the lazy river. Let's get away from it all. Let's take a jitney down to Kansas Sydney. Let's get away from it all. Let's get away from it all. From Thanks so much. It's nice to be back in Eugene. Uh, I was born and raised around here, and uh, uh, we brought Ted and Turner to uh, Lowell uh, when they were uh, uh, five years old, and they uh, spent uh, all that time through uh, elementary school here, and it's, uh, it's just a pleasure to be back. It's also a pleasure to be singing with my, my sons on stage. You know, uh, some of the old bromides that, that I used to sing, and we sung them over and over, are brand new to the kids, and we like to do one uh, for you now. It's called Sweet Adelaide. In the evening, as I sit alone, dreaming of days gone by, love to me. 
soldi There's a picture that in fancy appearing Brings back the time of when you were near It is that I wonder where you are, my darling Say, or the sign wind and nightingale are singing, are breathing only your own, your own sweetness. time ago, I mean a long time ago, when I had hair, we were singing in a quartet called the Juryman. J.H. Liebel was our uh, our coach. Now, he had uh, di different definitions for song. He had uh, Gut Buster, uh, Tear Jerker, uh, Up Tune. This, this one he taught us, he called a novelty tune. It's a, it's a hot little number, and we like to do it for you now. Do, 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 do. Well, ran on mama, ran on mama, you're the one we need. Follies, hot tamales, you got a pair of eyes, just like Goldstein's dollies. I confess that you possess that sweetest style of town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys all follow, follow you around. You went to the North Pole, couldn't stay, cause you melted all the snow and the ice away. Well, I red hot mama, sweetest gal in town. Oh, oh. Sweet mama, treat up the whole world, you got to turn your neighbors down. I can smell those hot cakes of burning honey, they done turn so brown. You 
make a rent off biscuits with the honey too. But I tell you, baby, nothing sweeter than you. Oh, 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 oh. sweet mama, it's three dollars tall. Won't you kindly turn your dampers down? Oh, 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 sweet mama, it's three dollars tall. Won't you kindly turn your dampers down? I can smell those hot eggs of burning honey. Then I'm doing so wrong. There was a Dominic who was trying to shake my hand. Ran around the kitchen, but that ain't no game. Oh, 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 oh sweet mama. Mama, tree dropped all, won't you kindly turn your dampers down? Oh, won't you kindly turn your dampers down? This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> Great fun. Uh, some of you might know uh, Ted and me got our first start here in Eugene. Uh, I was just thinking back, actually, a couple nights ago, about four or five years ago, when uh, our dad first asked to go down to Chorus Ursula, and uh, well, I'll tell you the truth, we weren't really too excited about going. <laughs> actually, we thought it was kind of stupid, but... Uh, <laughs> But uh, I'm glad he did, because ever since then we thought it was the greatest thing that ever was. And uh, now we're singing a quartet with him. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, for a guy who's won three district championships and taken a couple courses internationally, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's the greatest thing, you know, that could happen to us. But after all, he still is our dad. And, uh, you know, he's coached our little league teams. He's taken us fishing and helped us through our troubles. And uh, here's the things our appreciation for him, a song called Sing Here with Dad. Not too many years ago, we often didn't care When Dad would sing in his quartet, we thought that he was square But times have changed and we'll admit it's really not so bad in fact, you know it's kind of fun Singing here with Dad So here's a song to every dad And every father's son May music bring them closer now and everyone May music be the tie that binds To bring the gift of love May music go to all the world And reach to an above song to tell you all it's great when you can sing thank you Lord for letting us for make the rafter ring we've got to tell you one more time we're grateful and so glad
dynamite stuff. And it does work, doesn't it? Just raise you around. Say, no, you're not going out of the house tonight. We're practicing. That's kind of a neat deal. <laughs> During the past 11 years, our next quartet has performed in 10 different states. Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, Montana, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, and Weird. Uh, the last is a more or less permanent state since they are recognized as the only five-man quartet in the society. This is due, of course, to the fact that their tenor is a split personality. <laughs> Be ready for surprises. Not only from the tenor, but a little added surprise that unfortunately came along just a few hours ago. The gentleman who normally sings lead is ill, so we're going to have all kinds of surprises because we have Mr. Jerry Harrison stepping in. So be ready for surprises, as I say, but take comfort in the knowledge that at least three people on stage will be sharing your sense of suspense and nervous anticipation. <laughs> Please welcome the McKenzie Touring Company. Thank you. Let's bust a chord, a good old major chord with some good boys harmony. Come on and join the fun, we'll bust a minor one as we warble merrily. Let's sing it through again and then we'll all chime in. It'll make your heart feel light. You'll be hoarse tomorrow, but forget your sorrow while we bust a chord tonight. If you're a low-down bass, come on and find your place. And the dinner will be welcome to the if you're a baritone, don't sit around alone And a lead is what we need right over here Let's bust a chord or two and then you'll know it's true That a song makes things go right Put away your trouble, let your joy be double While we bust a chord tonight We bust the cord. Take it, bass. <coughs> Tonight. When the trumpet song to reach that heavenly goal, we're gonna have a celebration. Everybody get ready to fly. There's a flight just about ready to leave for the mansion in the sky. Don't worry about being left behind. There's plenty of room for all. Just get your reservation in now. Wait for old Gabriel's call. We're gonna have a celebration. It's just about ready to start. Start a celebration. If you give the Lord your heart If you want to be among the number Better get your name in that roll Cause when the trumpet sounds There won't be time to reach that heavenly goal that Everybody gather around and listen Just listen to what I say About that celebration Gonna happen on Judgment Day There's never been a party like this before The Lord's gonna run the show So get your reservation in now Start getting ready to go yeah. Celebration It's just about ready to start the start a celebration if you give the Lord your heart if you want to be among the number better get your name in that roll for when the trumpet sounds there won't be time to reach that heavenly goal that goal a celebration well it's just a star I said a celebration give your heart if you want to be among the number better get your name in that roll for when the trumpet sounds there won't be time to reach that heavenly goal for when the trumpet sounds I'm to reach the heavenly
heavenly God. So, folks, you know, it's a real pleasure for us to be out here, and as you can see, we've got a substitute with us this evening, although he used to what's sing with us, as some of you may recognize. What's what's going on over here? I got the wrong coat. Oh, you got the wrong coat? No. No. Dumbest thing I ever Yeah. Idiots. Yeah, he, he left home and Mom wasn't there, so he, she couldn't dress him, so... Anyway, it's a real pleasure for us to sing in fr front of our favorite audience again. And um, we're going to sing a song that, that maybe you've heard us sing once or twice before. And um, we still don't know what the title really means. It's a song from way back when. And, and there may be somebody out there that uh, can tell us tonight. What Heck, we never even knew the words. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> anyway, the song is Vodi Odo. All dressed up fit to kill Ninety cents and a dollar bill Look out world Cause I'm stepping out tonight Give me my old top hat My walking cane Meet me down in lover's lane We'll go for do 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 We'll start out cheek to cheek Hand in hand We'll cakewalk to Charlie's band We'll go for do 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 Sick bell girls with baby curls Jolson on one knee He'll do Mammy once again Just for you and me And when the evening's through Wait and see I'll hold you real close to me With my body oh do 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 Give me my old top hat My walking cake Suffer. Well, at this time, I'd like to take a moment and introduce the... Are you finished? Oh, God. Just stay over there, would you? At this moment, I'd like to introduce the members of the quartet. Standing behind me on the right here is Mr. Tim Knight. Tim sings bass in the quartet, works in the telecommunications industry, and he also happens to be the tallest guy in the quartet. In fact, he's so tall that he'd one time grew right out of the top of his hair. <laughs> He's not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Singing lead in the quartet behind me here, our substitute lead is Mr. Jerry Harrison. You know, he's one of the nicest guys. He traveled with us once before. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> You know, he's really nice. I got to room with Jerry one time, you know, and I didn't know much about Jerry, but I found out he's so neat and proper, and he doesn't do anything wrong, like throw his dirty socks in the sink or anything stupid he like that. He throws underwear. He throws his dirty <laughs> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dale Fish. I sing baritone in the quartet. I work at the University of Oregon, and we are the McKenzie Touring Company. <laughs> Get that part and introduce me. You didn't introduce me again for the 99th. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Then there's Gary the taxidermist. <laughs> Need I say more? Taxidermist? Actually, uh, I've got to tell you a little story about Gary. You know, it, it kind of talk about animals. You know, those eyebrows that he has, those fuzzy eyebrows. i got to tell you, those really aren't his. About six months ago, the quartet was on the road. We were out late. I don't know how it happened, but a fire started, and it, Gary was right in the middle of it. Of course, we knew he would be, and sure enough, it burned all the hair right off his eyebrows. What are we going to do? We had a show the next day. It was a two-night show, so we drove around the hospital, closed. Can you believe it? When we drove all over town, found an animal clinic that was open 24 hours a day. So we take Gary in there and say, look, we got this problem. We got to, you know, can you do anything about hair? That says, hey, look, I got a cocker spaniel on the back. We'll just take some hair from the hind legs, suture that right in there, that'll work. Well, the dog did it, and it looked great, but there's one little drawback to it. Every time Gary walks by a fire hydrant, he looks real surprised. <laughs> Actually, you probably recognize this guy. How many of you have seen the Les Schwab commercials? The guy that packs the battery around? Come here, Gary. <clears throat> yeah, we knew old Gary would get that job in just a bat of an eye, you know, because have you ever seen a face look any more like a dead battery than that? <laughs> You know Les Schwab's motto, well, let's keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> now we like to sing a song that kind of tells you about some of the problems oh, that we've no, been no, having. No, we're not going to do that. We're not doing it? We're going to do a different he song. Kept after us about he that doesn't want to do that one. You are a problem tonight. He wants to do his favorite song. Oh, there we go. Well, if we must, we must. Here we go. <laughs> Take a sentimental journey Gonna put my heart at ease Gonna take a sentimental journey To renew old memories Got my bag, I got my reservation Spend each time I could afford like a child in wild anticipation, long to hear that all aboard. Seven, that's the time we meet at seven. I'll be waiting up for heaven. Counting every mile of railroad track that takes me back. Never thought my heart could be so yearning. Why did I decide to roam? I'm gonna take a sentimental journey, sentimental journey home, sentimental journey home, the sentimental journey Ladies and gentlemen, picture, if you will, this dark, deserted highway. Now, on this highway are two cars, and as these cars are coming down the <coughs> the cars are going in the same direction. Just helping. Okay, yeah, step back there. Uh, now, as these cars are coming down... <coughs> Would you guys get back here, stage and go around? <laughs> now you know why, why some animals eat their young. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a famous encounter between the Cadillac and the Little Nash Rambler. While riding in my Cadillac, what to my surprise, a little Nash Rambler was following me about one third my size. The guy must have wanted to pass me up as he kept on tooting his horn. Honk, honk. I'll show him that a Cadillac is not a car to scorn. Beep, 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 his horn went beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I 
they push my foot down to the floor to give the guy the shake. But the little Nash Rammer stayed right behind, he still had on his brake. The guy must have thought his car had more guts as he kept on tooting his horn. I'll show him that a Cadillac is not a car to scorn. Beep, 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 his horn went beep, beep, beep. My car went into passing gear and we took off with Gus. And soon we were doing 90, but left him in the dust. When I peeked in the mirror of my car, I couldn't believe my eyes. The little Nash Ram was right behind, I think that guy could fly. Beep, 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 his horn went beep, beep, beep. Now we're doing 110, it certainly was a race. For Ram to pass a caddy would be a big disgrace. The guy was one who passed me up, so he kept on tooting his horn. I'll show him that a Cadillac is not a car to scorn. Beep, 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 his horn went beep, beep, beep. I love that one. Now we're doing 120 as fast as I can go. The Ram to fall behind me as if I'm going too slow. The fellow that is left going up for me to hear. Hey, buddy, how can I get this car out of second? Thank you. Brother, you guys didn't tell me about that one. Thank you. Bow. 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 Yeah, this is, uh, how are you doing, Pat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, every once in a while we get him. You know, Not me. we've been... <clears throat> you know, we've been pretty lucky as a quartet. We've traveled around quite a bit up into Alaska and the Midwest and Montana and quite a few different places. And it seems like, it seems like every place we go, we're always... <laughs> As I was saying, we've traveled around quite a bit, and it seems like every place we go, we're always asked to sing one particular song. It's so anyway, you know, as we travel around... He's got my blood Stay right there. Don't move. So anyway, as we travel around, we're always asked to sing this one particular song, and that's that's the next song we're going to do for you. It, it's it's a song about a. Oh. Did he wipe that bug on your pants? He just had him clean. Oh man. Why are you looking right up there? Well, listen, the next song we're going to sing for you is a song about a girl that's been gone for an awfully long time, and finally she's coming home today. It's called My Cuties Do at 2 to 2 today. Taxi, taxi, I need a taxi. She's coming home today. Taxi, do you stop? Boy, I can't get there fast enough. Take me to that train from way out west. I'm just jumping in my shoes, cause there ain't no time to lose. Got a date 158 with the one that I love best. My cuties do at 2 to 2. She's coming through on a big choo choo. Away for months, oh but I haven't cheated once. Stayed all nights, nice, didn't dance, wasn't taking any chance. I didn't flirt, and though it hurt, I just couldn't do my cutie dirt. My days were blue, my nights were black, but I just knew that she'd come back. For I love her, and she loves me, and say, don't think there ain't no 
know Santa Claus, I know darn well there is, because my cuties do at to the to today. She's very short, five foot two, spindly legged and cross eyed too. Uh, you wouldn't think much of, but oh my gosh, how she can love. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> my days were blue, my nights were black, but I just knew that she'd come back, for I love her and she loves me, and say, tonight I'll disconnect my Where did that come from? What's up? Oh, one never knows. Oh, I think I think Dave was right, you know. There's at least some assurance in knowing that three of us, in addition to you, won't know what's going to happen. Well, listen, we do have one more tune for you. It's a good old barbershop one, song, one you've heard us sing many times before, as maybe some of the others have. But um, it's a good old barbershop song called Goodbye, My Coney Island Baby. Oh, goodbye, my Coney Island baby. Farewell, my own true love, true love, my honey. I'm going to go away and leave. Any. Never gonna see you any. I'm gonna, gonna sail upon that ferry boat. Never to return again. So goodbye. Farewell. Adios, Kimasabi. Bum, bum, goodbye, my Coney Island. Oh, goodbye, my Coney Island. Goodbye, my Coney Island. We all fall for some girl. Some girl who dresses neat. Some girl who's got big feet. We meet. we meet her on the street. Then we'll join the army, army of married boobs to the order. Just like leading lambs to slaughter. When it's over, oh boy, oh boy we get a good batch of days, we then recall. Rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief, doctor, lawyer, merchant, chief, we all are bound for. Zickety boom, 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 goodbye, my Coney Island baby, farewell, my own. I'm going to go away and leave you, never to see you any. You can keep his picture, honey. I'm going to sail upon that ferry boat, never to return again. Woo! Pizza! <laughs> so, <laughs> so goodbye. Oh, that's terrible. Farewell. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Goodbye, my Coney Island. Goodbye, my Coney Island. Goodbye, my Coney Island. Goodbye, my Coney Island. Bye, bye. I don't have to put up with any more of this tonight. You've 
probably heard of uh, musical aggregations. Tim Knight was telling me a little earlier that they consider themselves to be three tunesmiths and an aggravation. <laughs> I don't know who he was talking about, of course, but we want to thank you, gentlemen. That was marvelous as always. And now we're going to take a 15-minute intermission, which is plenty of time for you to take a look at the tapes that are made available by the chiefs of staff out in the lobby. And uh, if you would be back in your seats by, let's say, 9.15 or just a minute or so uh, short of that, we've got a marvelous, marvelous second half for you. Thank you very much. <laughs>